on this week's episode, we talk about Lineage 2 and end the show with League of Legends. So we belong on Twitch. It's not 100% true. Well, it's not 100% wrong. Okay, that's fair. Yep. And Big Pharma is going to code prescription drugs with candy to get kids hooked on them. Okay, now that's not 100% true. But, but, but it's not 100% wrong. Okay, that, that's fair too. All right. And this will be our best and most controversial show. Okay, now that's, that's not 100% true. But it's not 100% wrong. <sighs> and once again, okay, that's fair. All right, well, let's start this mysterious or secret show. Oh, I see what you did there. They have to watch the show to find out what is so mysterious or secret. Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve, and I'm No, I'm Steve. No, I'm back. You're back? Hi, I'm back. back. I'm, I'm Scott. And I'm Hi, Scott. Scott. This is the tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, podcast, Twitch stream, and that's it for now. And madness. Mad. Madness. We're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. So go down there, smash the like button. Uh, go over there. The chat, oh, no, go the over like there. Button, subscribe. Do the all of the other stuff because, uh, I don't know, because it helps other people to, to see our channel, apparently. Um, and I think you need to start doing new subjects. I do. So I think the subject should be inflammatory and amazing. So we will pick a story that we're going to do today. Let's take a look at the show subject board really quick. Okay. Kerosene and flammable. Will, and we will put something on there like um, pharmacy to make candy coated pills for kids to eat uh, uh, for kids to eat uh, codeine. Right. Okay. Something that like sounds that. like a great subject. Well, you know what I mean? It's got to be like inflammatory and dangerous. So people look at it like pharmacy ah. companies approve candy coated opium pills. Okay. So we're going to be like those ads that you see when you're panning through your news feed that says, look what Polly Perrette's boyfriend really looks like. Yeah. Stuff like that. Or the one where they have the never do this and they have a picture. Yes. And then you go through the whole story and that picture is never in there and they never say what never to do. Correct. Apparently most that of the, works. Yeah. It seems to because so, they keep doing it. Yeah. So go to what happened dot world, subscribe, like, go to our other channels, shows. Uh, does uh, Fun Getting or Tender ever cook for you anymore? Well, I cooked yesterday, but not on the camera. Then for you, he doesn't cook for you. I cook for other people. Cooks for him. Cooks for him, but not for you. I had a Brewers game. He's very. And they paid for the tailgate package. <laughs> Did you tape it? No. Why not? I just barely got everything. This is the first time in two and a half years that I've done one. I had to oh. figure out what to do again. Plus, the tailgate bus was not done in time, so I had oh. to use a small grill, which was a royal pain in the ass. It took me forever to cook the food. How many people? 27. What do you cook them? They just had burgers and ribs. Oh, ribs. Ooh. One of the guys brought in three slabs of ribs and. Um, Not cooked. Oh, no, they were pre-cooked. But oh, okay. sure. then what you do okay. is you put the say, sauce they were cooked, and, and you know, caramelize. Those are for after the game, I take it? Yeah. No, <laughs> that was for part of the dinner. But yeah, yeah. It, it, they were very happy. But I was very frustrated because I'm used to my giant ass grill. That 15 minutes after you start it, it is so hot. I wear gloves that go all the way up to here because otherwise I have no hair on my arms. Well, some people pay for that. That's true. So uh, <laughs> uh, that just reminds me, we just watched Rush Hour 3 again. Yeah. So anywho, um, I ended up using one of those, they call them tag-along grills or whatever. Um, they're square, and you can only cook nine burgers at a time. I had the whole bottom tray completely filled with charcoal, and it was still not hot. I just do not understand what was what I did wrong because airflow. I know I had everything open properly. I I know what to do. It just this it just didn't want to work. Airflow. It has vents on the bottom sides. You need so a little that, blower. You need a little. You need one of those little battery powered blowers. Yeah, pushing air through there. You ever see the video of the guy with the chimney fireplace and the air blower? Sure. 
I've seen a couple of them because like I know that when we used to burn the leaves in our ditch, I used to get all the leaves in a big pile, get them started. And once they were going really good, I take the leaf blower and set it down on the ground so that it blew at the bottom of the pile. And it just went <laughs> like crazy. It was awesome. Wow. Hey, you sent me a message. Who did? Oh, it's not you. I thought it was you. Uh, it's Ashley. Hi, Ashley. So, did not per, uh, pertain to our show, unfortunately. At least I don't think it did. There you go. See, had you done this? I would I would have had the neighbors calling the fire department. Wait for it. There you go. Come on, baby. Go. 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 Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. There you Waka go. Flaka. Waka flaka. Did you see it? Yep. Uh, see, that's what you didn't you do. Start the whole fucking house on fire. That's what you didn't do. You have a fair flow. Okay. Well, apparently, I don't. I'm not as much of a blowhard as everybody told me I was. All right. So we're going to talk about what we've done. This is going on in the world. So you can escape from what's going on and, and all the new stuff that's out there. Uh, uh, there. Obviously, the government is tired of talking to us about Corona. So now it's monkeypox. <laughs> okay. You don't read the news at all. Uh, well, nobody's going to listen about Corona anymore. So now they're telling us all we're going to catch monkeypox and die. Oh, I did hear about the monkeypox, but they're also talking. The big thing right now is the, well, you got a message down there later. We'll wait. What? The baby formula. Oh, yeah. It's, it's all distraction stuff, right? Yes. Well, yeah, most we're attacking, of it. We're attacking women again. Yes. But talk so to me about your picture the, behind you. Well, mine is the redbud tree in my front yard. The two of That's them. That's not red. I don't understand why That's the colors are a little tree. bit different. Because what colors are my shirt? Uh, orange. You're right. It is orange. But on my screen, it looks red. Yes, it does. So just like those flowers look a little purple. Well, adjust your colors. Pull up your camera and adjust your colors. I don't want to. I like it. It looks pretty. I don't, don't want to. Anyway, so, so those aren't purple flowers back there? They're red flowers? They're pink more than anything. They're so, pink? Yeah, they're, it's a redbud tree. You don't know what a redbud tree looks like? Well, apparently it doesn't look like what you took a picture of. Well, it does look like they're just slightly different shade of okay, colors. Your idea of redwoods and my idea of redwoods are two different Red trees. bud, not redwood. Oh, redwood red are bud. the trees in California. Exactly, see? Yeah, not the same red. thing. This is a tree. red bud. B-U-D. Oh, bud. Red bud. Yes, those things red get bud. absolutely massively huge, don't they? Red bud. There you go. Looks just like your pictures. Well, yeah, I guess they do. Right here, it kind of looks just like your picture. It does. Matter of fact, I think that's the picture you have behind you. Close. Sands the house. No. Okay. But I just okay. I just love how pretty they are. Okay. So you were asking what was behind me? Yeah, because uh, it looks like a stage show and, or with a lighting yes. thing. But what I've never seen... Okay, those should be trusses. And I've never seen trusses. They are, that, trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They almost look like the truss itself is lit up, not just lights on them. They are. And um, in season four, I went to um, see this show and I was all over it. Uh, and I was on the screen probably 12 times. They have the finals for American Ninja Warriors in Las Vegas. Yeah, I know about that show. So that they is asked me the, to be on it. That is one of the uh, obstacles. That they have. We didn't go this year. We were too busy with Courtney's graduation. It was the same weekend as Courtney's graduation. Yeah. But I did go by and take pictures. You know, you guys were all supposed to be on the show. Well, you came close, I suppose. It was kind of neat to see Grandma. Yeah, Grandma was in the car with, you know, with us. You could see Pat in the background. But yeah, we were busy driving around. And I'll drive that was the night we were going. Beep, beep. 
That was the night we were going to see Piff. Yes. Uh, Piff the Magic Dragon. Let me see if I can. Yeah, he went on tour right after that with Puddles, Puddles Pity Party. Let me see if I can pull up the pictures. Where are the pictures? Do they bring their own napkins for when they puddle? For Puddles Pity Party? Yeah, when they when, when, when they piddle on the puddles. Oh, these are in reverse order, but I can at least do that. Yes. So that's Jade. That's his wife. A grandma, a John, the Piff the Magic Dragon, Cole, my nephew, my sister Jeannie, Pam, uh, Peg's sister, and Jim, Cole's father, and Peg's brother. And there's Mr. Piffles. And Where's Pat? Uh, he wasn't in the picture. He wasn't shy on the show. Yeah, I do that, but there's Piff on stage, sending Cole away. Shining, trying to find a family for the orphan, trying to get right at us. That's a great shot. Uh, he goes to get a gumball, uh, which is a prize. There he is with the $20 bill from earlier trick. There he is getting Cole's card. Jimmy, the orphan boy. But uh, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. He made 10 cards appear, but yeah, fun. Fun stuff. That's what you go to the shows for because they're fun. Yeah, That's why you watch our show because it's fun to see how goofy and, ass we are. And, and Cole is not traumatized <laughs> by me like my family is. Um, going to shows and getting called up on stage. Exactly. Uh, I don't want to go. Dad's going to get us on stage again. That's right. It's his yeah, job. But- what happened? Uh, no, I said, that's cool. Hey, but the cool thing was I, I put up a post on Instagram. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't think I can show it. Yeah, oh, it's- oh, is it pornography? Why would you go there when I'm talking about my daughter? You are a sick. Individual. I didn't hear you say anything about your daughter. You are a sick Sick individual. And I don't know if I should put this up. Well, usually when you preclude you that, it's naughty. You are an Instagram? <laughs> oh, Instagram. I didn't hear you say that either. I don't listen to you. Jeez. Jeez. You are so weird. <laughs> this is going to be really naughty. I can tell. Uh, whatever, he, whatever he reams me for something, it's usually because I was right. Where is... Now, how how should I know? It's your computer, not mine. I don't know how to use the... I don't know how to use the web page thing. I don't think Uh, this is the right post. Let me guess. You don't have a point-and-click computer. I I don't. This is the wrong... um, This is weird. Weird, weird, weird. All right, for those of you who don't post. know this, Steve knows nothing about computers. He's part Amish. Not part. 100%, baby. 100% Amish. 100%. As a matter of fact, this is not really Steve that you see because seeing that he's 100% Amish, he could not be on the show. So this is just a clone. How did this? Or is that clown? I don't know how this works. I have no way of knowing how to get to, huh? Oh, I think that's my own, but yeah. But so I posted that Courtney graduated and then okay. said we were going to Piff's show. Yes. And Jade put applause hands, but Piff, the magic dragon with the blue check mark, said, Congratulations, Courtney. Oh, cool. So I actually used her name. And Courtney goes, Well, my media people would have put that in also. So I had no big deal. <laughs> I'm like, They could have just said, Congratulations, or just done emojis, but he actually used your name. And that's yeah. pretty cool. But she, she again, living with me totally has, like. Has whatever. Courtney become a diva? No, she could care less. Both of my kids could like care less about if people are famous or, uh, you know, it's whatever. It's like, oh, okay. Whatever. You know who that is? That's, you know, that's David Dobrik. Again. You know, like, who, cares? Who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? He puts his pants on just like you do. Um, they just had. In Milwaukee, um, the 
commencement ceremonies for the graduating stuff. And there were famous people, of course, you know, that right. are they're doing the doing the speeches. Right. <laughs> and they should they pan the crowd and you see girls like this on their phones. And it's like, oh my God, you've got somebody that is so famous right in front of you, and you're on your phone texting yeah. someone. Okay. But then I also got to do um, something really cool. Uh, my buddy Adam Hunter, who is a comedian, has uh, um, MMA podcast. Um, yes. MMA Roasted. It's called MMA Roasted Podcast. Um, Caffeine free, by the way. Came into town and he did a, um, a show for the UFC Fight Pass. And he takes three uh, UFC fighters and teaches them how to do stand up. And then they record it. And it's very cool. I'm trying to find it. Let's see. So I can tell you who the people were. Um, Adam, where's Adam Hunter? That's Adam. I don't know. It's all your fault as usual. If you had planned ahead and been more organized, you wouldn't have all this downtime making you just ramble I on. I don't need to be. Why? Well, if I, what if is I going don't, on with my? I was going to say, if I don't ramble on, you have a cow that I'm not saying anything. I know, but ramble. Ramble on. I did that already. I, why can't I find him? Um, because you tried to print it with a 3D printer is, and it didn't work. What is going on with my... It's not even the first subject, but okay. Well, technically, it is the first subject because you already did the first subject. Well, it was the first. No, I didn't do it at all. Oh, you just alluded to it. Is that the concept? Quaaluded to it? <laughs> no, I did not say quaaludes. You uh, said quaalude. Did you? Ha- oh, no, you didn't because you couldn't see uh, anything. I got goobers on the show last week at the very end. Did you? Yep. And now he's up here being petted because. Um, while you're looking at that, that is something I can mention. We're building the new tailgate bus, and we started at seven o'clock in the morning. And with the exception of a break for lunch and another break for dinner, we worked till 11 p.m. and we still didn't get it done. Congratulations, Courtney! Piff the magic dragon with a blue check mark. Seven days ago, I'm really bummed out that there's only one like Courtney should have done that a like for sure. Again, doesn't care. Doesn't care. She doesn't want to help my social media. She doesn't even like follow me. Some of her friends do, and they tell her what I'm doing. She's like, <laughs> she's like, stop. I, don't ah, I have to live with them. Yeah, but I don't care. <laughs> Why you want to see what he looks like when he walks around the house in his underwear? I don't do that. You do oh, that? He's naked? Do you do that? Well, sometimes, but not all, very often. Really? I have this beautiful robe that I wear when I walk around the house thing's massive it's actually made for somebody bigger than me <laughs> but, like a, like like a like a ufc uh kind of sort of yeah the, the, fighter robe. let me put it to you this way if i have my hands down at my side you cannot see my hands the sleeves are that long and when i'm standing up it goes almost to my ankles with how long the robe is you know robes normally aren't that big so and even with a knot on it i cannot Lean over the toilet standing up or the ropes, the belt ropes would end up being in the toilet water. This thing's just huge. But I got it on sale for $39 and it's so comfortable. Yeah, see, so this was the uh, the UFC fight pass. Uh, can I get it to- you just got to not move it, and then it comes in. You're moving too much. There we go. There's Comedy Jam 2 is incredible. Sold out. Can't wait to see it air in the UFC pipe fight pass. Those were the comedians. That's they look seven, like comedians. Seven, seven, they're not. They're fighters. But they're all these fighters. No, in, they in look the just audience. like comedians. Let me see if I can see some of the names. I Matt Chavez was there. I could take them all at the same time. Like I don't even know who half of these guys are, but they were awesome and they're funny people. And they did a great job. I mean, it was pretty pretty impressively amazing so got to have pictures of the audience oh wait 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 is that me hey. can we see me where's the cameras 
Oh, Holy my God. goodness. Steve found himself in the crowd. Well, I'm in one of the pictures. That guy. All right, so this it's a blurry one. Can't go straight here. Again, too much reflection here. Let's see if I can get this off. There we go. See the cameraman? Yep. Against the pole? Yep. See Peggy in my head there? Right I do. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. Don't wait, wait, wait. Oh, my hand goes right. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Right there. So, yeah. I could. I was trying to point for you, but my hand just disappears when I go that way. Yeah, yep. we're all over this dang thing. So, dang, hey. dang. All right, just so you know, so we're already was, going through twenty minutes, so we should. This probably was very, very cool. There's something else here. Or are you just else. trying to give Andrew a chance? Why do you guys start in? anything else? Because I said so. Okay. So this was a guy that I knew was there. And I kind of forgot who he is. That you, got, guy, you don't know who he is? No, but he's somebody to well, do what, UFC. What the hell use are you if you don't know anything? Well, I'm not. I'm an Adam Hunter fan. Adam Hunter is a freaking amazing dude. You ever get a chance to go see him in comedy, you got to go see him do stuff. He is absolutely hilarious, funny dude. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that I actually realized today, and I even told Susie this, and it kind of freaked her out. I said, I didn't think I would ever want to retire simply because most of the time I love what I do, but I'm so tired of the damn stress of trying to get stuff done with no help that, hell, maybe I'll just sell everything and retire. She goes, good, yeah. let's do that. I go, well, we can't yet because we don't have any insurance if we do yeah, that. Insurance, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and you're going to like Adam Hunter. He's going to be on whatever current season they're filming of Picard. Really? He has a yellow shirt. So they said, oh, thank God it's going to be a yellow shirt. Yes. The red shirt's shirts always die first. Yep. Although. So how cool I is think that? in Discovery, I think security is yellow shirts. Well, all I know is he's going to be on the show. Let's see if we can find that picture now. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, I actually told that joke to a guy and, and he, he looked at it. He says, I don't, I don't get it. I says, you, you said you were a Star Trek fan. I go, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's to wear a yellow thing? shirt. Why is it not focusing? And told him, he told him it. Yep. It was just his birthday. But yeah, how cool is that? Totally so, radical. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's going to be on Picard. So that would be cool. I, I, yeah, I'll go along with that. I'll say cool. Totally cool. radical for sure. Yeah. I was uh, going to try doing something else and it didn't work. I, you tried I, it. That. I was going to try to poke Andrew in a different fashion. Oh, but, good for you. But yeah, those were the comedians right there. Why is it not focusing now? Because you got to stop moving. If you stop moving, then it focuses, except you're kind of close right now. There you go. That's right. This spot. There it goes. It won't clear. And then you moved because you can't hold still. I got it there. So Sarah McMahon, Sarah McMahon, Gerald Dwayne Harris, Frankie uh, Edgar, Andrew Feely. Yeah, those were the guys. It was awesome. So look for that on UFC Fight Pass. Cool beans. Very, very cool. But yeah. yeah. UFC so. Fight Pass. So if you got UFC Fight Pass, check it out. All right. All right. So that was, yeah, that was Amer um, American Ninja Warrior behind me, though. That's where we left off. All right. So now we're ready to do our first subject. Sure. It's almost sure. time to do the middle of the show, but that's okay. We can do this subject. Well, I, you know how the show is. You make it yes, up as you go along. I know exactly how the show is. I. Have my nice organizational thing, and you Steve do says, not. I don't care. You, don't, you don't read any of this stuff ahead of time on purpose because it's pointless. Candy coated pills. Yes, they'll do what? So they're going to candy coat pills. Like, yeah, makes don't we have sense. a problem with like uh, drug use and kids and 
kids eating uh, Tide Pods that they have to have special, um, like locking stuff in that, right? Exactly. So, so this is what they want to make the pills look like. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. They want the pills. What kid do you think is not going to go in and grab these pills and eat them? I think I would uh, say that's probably correct. They're supposed to, and I don't even understand how this can work. Colorful nonpareils can uniquely identify drug capsules and counterfeit fashions. If you can make it, they can counterfeit it. That makes sense. Right? It's not like it's got some kind of special metal coating in it or something. It's still a pill. Look. I like how they counterfeit everything. Why can't they counterfeit a candy coated pill? And why do you want candy coated? So this gave Grove the idea that Mon Perel's could be applied to a coating of each pill, giving it a unique pattern that could be stored by the manufacturer in a database. Consumers could upload a smartphone photograph of the pill. And if its candy code matches one in the database, the consumer could be confident the pill is genuine. But if it's a computerized thing that's a computerizer making it, why can't they just fake the candy coating? Exactly. And it's not just that. If, okay, anybody can get a 3D printer nowadays. So how hard would it be to put the, that picture in and make it printed? You can even, you can even make your, your, your normal printer a 3D printer. Right there, see? Look at that. 3D printer, yay! I made my laser printer. Steve is such printer. a smart ass. It printed, it printed 3D. Man, you just want to get off of this drugs and get on to the next subject, don't you? Uh, yes, because we want to get into what is the next subject anyway. Oh, look, 3D printer, which is what you just said. 50 coolest things. Look how late it is, though. Oh, man, there, I opened this up yeah, uh, last week. I wanted to do this because it looks so cool. There's really cool shit in there. I didn't think so. Okay. You didn't like any of it? No, I thought these were all stupid. Why? Okay, so it's time. Time. All right, time to share. Where's the, where's the share? What do you mean time to share? You've been sharing almost the whole show. All right. So here are the cool things. Okay. Why would you build that? A side table. Well, yes. Wait. Stop. Okay. You're gonna build a side. Okay. Look at this. What? It, it curves paper. It's a photo studio stand. It is crap. Paper, so you got a white background. It's good for, yeah. See, because I always, when I was doing some photo stuff of our hall decorating stuff, I wanted one of those so bad, and they wanted a stupid amount of money it's for it. It's just one. a piece of paper. You know what you do? You put a box, you tape it on the top, you curve it like that, and then you tape it on the bottom. Right. Okay. Now, you don't need to 3D print those things. Here you go. How about a hex case tool roll? That was cool. I like that one. Okay. How about spring bulbs? Those are this. Okay. So this was actually cool. Yeah. My question is, how do you get the light bulb in there? Well, the bottom is the right size. You just put it in there. Uh, no, but thank you for playing. But notice you have to use the low temperature LED lights. Now I find that funny because the light itself has no heat. It's the stupid board that gets hot. But again, hello, how do you get the bulb yeah. in there after you've made it? If you lift that up, I'll guarantee you that it's hollow. Yes. Okay. You understand the shape of a bulb? I do. I have them all over the place. Okay. And when you stick them in your butt, what end do you start with? The narrow end or the big end? Well, first of all, I don't stick them in my butt. Well, apparently you do because <sighs> you're talking out of it right now. Look, there's a small hole on the bottom and a big bulb area up here. How do you get the big bulb area through that little hole on the bottom? This is for LEDs, not incandescent. You are so LED dumb. bulbs are little. No, they are not. They, they are, the are same little. Size. They are the same size. They are the same size as regular bulbs. If you do that kind, you are yeah, correct. The same size but why would you use bulbs? that kind? As opposed to what kind? Go back one. As opposed to what kind there? Go back. 
I'm working on it. I hit back and it's not going back. Uh, you don't have another option. Why is it not going back? Okay. I think you open up a second window. There. The what, this right. kind? Well, no. The, at the very top row of the far one on the right. That kind? Yes. That doesn't have the right base for you, though. Well, they have bases for no. Money. I have no. both like that that I use. No. No. I See, they're little. I, I take your reality and I reject it and replace it with my own. Yeah. yeah. All right, where's the share at? Uh, did I get back to the LED bulbs? No, where you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop letting share with you because you come up with the weirdest stuff. Wait, where am I? I'm over here. You're in where Las Vegas. Here I am. I had to get the am I sharing again or did the share cancel? It share cancel. Share cancel. All right, get back in the share. You just make stuff up. A desk drawer. You could 3D wow. print a desk drawer. Yeah, now that was kind of like pointless, right? Yeah, okay. How about those? How about pet water bottle spikes? They're, okay. They're watering spikes. They're not pet bottle watering spikes. P-E-T. Bottles. That's not what it means. You stick those in the ground. You pour the water in it, and it puts water in, lets the water seep in instead of just start it at the top. It's for a P-E-T water bottle. See? P-E-T water bottles. Yep. Right there. Right Best selling there. dog water bottles. Dark, dark. You can make all those connectors. Okay, so you can make hose connectors. Yes. Those are cool. If they hold the pressure. You can make an Oreo. See, now, I thought this was really cool, too, because you can put a squeaker toy in it. You cannot put a squeaker toy in it. I it's would. hard plastic. You can't. Why would you squeeze it? How about a desk hugger? A little hook for your cables. Yeah, that's actually convenient. A watch stand. You, uh, you can buy was... those. You know, you don't have to 3D print those. Yes. Cable straps. Okay, whatever. Okay. For your a information. Here you, go. here you go. A sponge holder or a soap dish. Absolutely yeah. everything you can make with a 3D printer. You can buy. A Raspberry Pi tower. There you go. Build yourself for your little rail, computerized rail, stuff. Rail. Center finder, tea bag holder. Again, this was cool. A gear hinge. Wonder if it's less squeaky that way. Yeah, and also pinches your fingers and pulls them in. Ooh, cool. Battery holder. A lot of battery dispensers on 3D holders. There's a ton of those. Kazoos. I know. This is good. Cardboard molds. So you use your 3D printer to make a mold to make cardboard. <laughs> yeah. The bird clock was cool. Print out all those gears and then the yep, that. It was nifty. And the table debt organizer. See, bag it a, a battery holder, a rugged battery holder, whatever. Okay. It's a weird advice. Just a very weird I, I had to agree with that. So it'll hold different size objects. The vases were cool. I but, thought they were cool, yep. A squeeze fan. You can put the little gears together. You squeeze it. And you. Uh, this is something that I would make to give away to somebody. All right. Can you print a CNC machine? Really? Or is that a printer? I mean, how do you print that out? I don't know. Weird. A coffee capsule dispenser. There you go. Instead of a battery dispenser, your little K cups. Pots for for making stuff. You get three pot organizers. Print pot. A flying ring, copter ring. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can print a moon lamp. That's cool. That is cool. You can 3D print a moon lamp. That's cool. A circle lamp. I'm not exactly sure how you 3D print that, unless that's an LED strip. There. Hex panels. You got to pay big money for those. So if you can print you those, bet. that's pretty cool. A wallet. You want to 3D print a wallet? Anti-gravity planter. Spring-loaded box. I, a spring-loaded box. Push, see, see the spring? You actually yep. 3D print it, and then it, it pops open. Wing. A quick grab phone stand, whatever. I mean, it's just, come on. The anti-gravity tables where you got the strings holding. Yeah. 
I don't even know what a Goodman AA is. Apparently, you can mount your phone on this and then a regular camera lens on the other part. It'll use yes. the camera lens for your phone. Open aim shoot. That reminds me, did you get a chance to see the um, the eclipse? You know, it eclipsed me. But yeah, so there's that. No, I did not get a chance to see the eclipse. Did you? Yes, I did. And um, one of the guys that I game with is it's what he does. He gets paid to take people out and see that kind of stuff. And he took pictures and they were freaking awesome. Oh, you got any to share? That's what I'm looking at right now. <clears throat> I want to see if I can download them from here and send them to you. <laughs> well, just send me the. Uh, uh, did he? Uh, never mind. I'm working on it. And I'm working on it. Now it's time for you to do something. I did it. Oh, it's time for me. I'll do this later. We did, we did two old subjects. Woohoo! So Woo what time is it, Steve? Uh, time for me to fix my my uh my screen. Okay. It's the halfway point of our show, which Scott likes to stop and do the genuine positivity message for the week. Uh, so Scott wrote a uh, genuine positivity message. It probably has to do with one of the subjects that I moved off, but because he likes to do that, and then I like to move him away, so it doesn't make any sense. So, SDE Fun Guy, come and do your genuine positivity message. Social media is a good start, but social in person is the key to enjoying life. Yes, being, being in person is much more fun. It's more better. More we're better. Ready. So, are we going to this subject or are we putting it on the next show? Uh, oh, I guess we're just going to do it because I don't know how if we get Andrew here. All right. What is it? All right. Bonobo. Bonobo escaped at the Belgium Zoo and they had to get him. And I think Andrew was involved. You think Andrew let him out? I think Andrew said something like, hey, wait a minute. Bonobo shouldn't be stuck in a zoo. Okay. No, I don't think Andrew really did that. Where but that's what I was going to say. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come up screen. I don't know what bonobo is. You don't know what a bonobo is? No. Well, he's a critter. Is that his name? Bonobo is his name, yes. No, he's no. Bonobo is what he is. He's a, a male bonobo. They're, they're endangered. So who writes this subject? He's bonobo of, safely he's, back in enclosure after escape at Belgian Zoo. Like when the one gorilla... Uh, saved the little boy in the zoo in, in uh, Chicago. We talked yes. about the gorilla's name. We didn't we didn't say bonobo. Like that'd be like saying um ants safely back in the ground. Oh thank God. I hate it when they're not in the ground. There is currently a bonobo in a tree just outside the bonobo island. We immediately activated the emergency plan. The park has been cleared. So, okay. So he just got out of the enclosure. Yes. And I don't understand this. The zookeepers eventually managed to give the ape a banana and some anesthetics and anesthesia. Yes. Did they give him the banana and anesthesia or did they just give him a banana and then shrank him? <laughs> so, I, yeah. Offhand, I would say that they had the anesthesia in the banana. That it might have been traumatizing to shoot the poor thing in front of all the people. Well, you can't you can't shoot it with a train gun. Yeah, I guess you could. I don't know. All right, that's just a weird story. I found that, that that you would just say it that way. Yes. Oh, well, oh. Do you know why uh, ants didn't get the coronavirus? Um, because you're too busy trying to find uncles. No, they have small antibodies. Oh, that's so funny. It is, isn't it? I'm a funny dude. So I stole that. I was kind of hoping that the pictures that I had here, I could have downloaded 
and sent to you so you could put them on the computer. On Why the, can't you just forward them to me, like share them with me? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. The problem is I got them on WhatsApp, and that's what I was trying to do, was trying to uh, figure You know figure how to use your phone. Yeah, forget it. Why don't you get back into the show? Because that's taking up too much of your brain power, and you're just looking down. And, oh, oh and, and, and my brain seeing. power. See, he admitted I had a brain. Well, yeah, you have to have a brain. You're breathing. If I only had a brain. So, so anyway, thank all right, you, so Andrew. now I got another joke now to go along with that. You're having another joke. Okay. What is the difference between animals and and the human animal? Well, like regular animals, like, you know, cows, sheep, you know, something like that. What's, what's the difference between those animals and human animals? We enjoy sex. No, you, it has to do with brains. Okay. The animals would not put their dumbest people as leaders. Oh. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure they don't put their dumbest animals as leaders. Okay. Oh, the humans, we do. Frequently. All around yeah. the world, even. Right. So why you reckon my joke if you agree with me? You're not even listening to what the joke is. You're just, cause you're just disagreeing with me to disagree with me when you agree with me. That makes no sense. You're not even listening to yourself, this show. Oh, oh, oh. Shouldn't have done that. Look what you made me do. What I almost do? fell off my chair. Wow. Wow. So. Well, what subject do you want to go to? The thing that is on everybody's mind right now, because it's all over the news. What's that? For some odd reason, um, there, well, it's not an odd reason. There is a problem with baby formula. They okay, took it off the market. Prop, there, no, there's not a problem with it. Well, there was. No, they had a problem, so they had to do a recall. And then with the well, it was the one plant shortage. They had it was issue. one plant, but the government caused the problem. Was it was it the Septiva plant? The government Septiva. Yeah, that's the the or the <laughs> natural sweetener from the Septiva plant. <sighs> you see, and you tell me I don't pay attention. Sorry, actually, you're right. Steve doesn't pay attention either. It's the Abbott Labs. Yes, the Abbott Labs. We know who they are. We used to go. But did you know them. that there's only three companies that make baby that are approved to make baby formula and, and foreign companies are not qualified to make a baby formula due to the FDA? Yes. So there's only three companies that can make baby formula. One of them had a recall which does about 13% of all the uh, formula in the United States. Yes. So it's the government that caused the problem. Yet, they're, they're the ones that are going to fix this for us. It's their job. Yeah. Whatever. It's, no, it's, it's stupid. So they've only approved three companies to make baby formula. Three companies. How is that in our best interest? Of course, this is going to happen. And then and then I get this email from my representative here in. Eva Las Vegas here. Right here. Uh, hi, Mr. Whatever. Uh, it's been in the national news. But it's even here here in Vegas. We have the largest shortage of baby formula in the country. That's why this week we took immediate action to end the shortage. As a mother of two, I can understand. Uh, la, 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 that's why I voted to pass two bills of the House, access baby for it, grant emergency authority to the WIC program to address the supply chain. But it's the WIC program that it only allows three companies to be approved to purchase from WIC. So therefore, what I... Why don't you approve some more damn companies to supply? Because they, so what happens is not only that, but these new companies couldn't come in because of the WIC program. They pay these companies, they subsidize these companies. So even if you could make baby formula and qualify, you can't compete because let's just do simple math. Let's say it takes $5 to do a can of baby formula, right? Baby. And the government yep. gives you three dollars, 
So it's only costing you two dollars to make. But anybody new who can get approved doesn't get the WIC subsidization. They got to pay five dollars. So how are they going to stay in business if the other companies they need to stop subsidizing the other companies and or subsidize every company that qualifies to make one or the other? Right. And, 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 then, and then here's where it gets political. You know, if the Washington Republicans care about American family, they'd fix this right away. It's bipartisan. It's not Republican. It's the government that screwed up. Big government. Representative Susie Lee. There you go. But it's big government that screwed it up. If big government wasn't subsidizing these three companies and only three companies to make baby formula, the other companies that can make baby formula, that can make it safe, they qualify for the FDA, would be a fair play a playground for uh, whatever. It drives everyone crazy. It's it's so it's such a distraction right now. People keep forgetting that rich people create opportunity for other rich people. That's what they're there for. That's exactly what they do. That's why they're crashing the uh, the stock market right now. That's why they're crashing the the crypto market right now. And if you don't think that the housing market is going to start suffering, the only places where the housing market is not going to suffer is where people are moving to from the other places that are more expensive. Right. But even they're predicting a zero to 20% drop. There's a chart somewhere. I don't, I don't have it, but I saw it and it's political. So we won't bring it up too much, but there's a chart that shows you if you're in an area that's, uh, you know, you should be concerned about your housing uh, prices dropping. So it's crazy. Yeah. I've already, I've already been told by my dad's um, financial advisor that we should sell his house as is as soon as we can, because right now it is at a super premium and it's not going to last. Nope, it is not. And remember, uh, interest rates are going up again. Uh, what is the next? I like meeting? it when it does the other thing. What, what other thing? When it goes... Down, 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 down. Doo -doo. Sorry, I just love to sing that song. Yeah, the next 5-2. Five, 5-2? Two. Five, uh, two? Is it 5-2? Is, is that the next Fed meeting? 16 meeting? after. Uh, March, June. June 14th and 15th. It would be 6-2. That's with projections, and then July 26th, 27th. So uh, expect interest rates to go up in, in one or both of those meetings. Definitely the July 26th, 27th, it's going up. But I think it'll go up the 14th and the 15th also. Then it'll go up again in September, then in November, then in December. That's what they're planning on. And then it's going to drop like a rock once the rich people have gotten all their money. Well, once they've moved the, the barrier between the one percenters and that farther apart. Yes. Because it's only the lower uh, economic scale that's being brought up. Middle is not being brought up. So they're bringing the lower closer to here, but then they're raising the price on everything to separate everything between here and the upper middle class. Right. Second are easy. We just don't get to, yeah. And they're distracting us with uh, monkey pox and, and food shortages and Roe v. Wade and, and whatever else they can do. And, you know, there's still a war going on in the Ukraine. Yeah. You don't hear you, the, the news on it is much lower. Yeah, there's nothing on that anymore. So crazy. People are crazy. Uh-huh. So where are we on so subjects? What do you want to do next? Something about big pharma, or is that part of what we just talked about? No, no, this is Pharma Bro. You know who Pharma Bro is, right? Pharma Bro? I pharma know bro. who I know who Pharma. Do you remember this guy? Pharma Joe is. No, Pharma Bro. Farmer Bro. Pharma, pharma Pharma. Pharma bro. bro. He got out of prison. You remember it, this guy? No. This is the guy that um, is a former uh, pharmaceutical executive okay. known for raising the price, price of life-saving drugs by 5,000%. Oh, yes. So he bought the drug and then raised it by 5,000%. Right. One of them was like the, the thing that if you epileptic shock and you shoot yourself with the needle, that's one of the things that he did. Well, that was the, the uh, EpiPen? EpiPen, yes. But I forgot which one he did. Uh, what drugs? Let's ask. Let's ask. Let's ask 
Ask the computer. It will tell you. Or go, Alexa. Alexa, can you hear me? Oh, that's right. I took Alexa in the house. Yeah, why'd you do that? I needed it for doing something on the TV one day, and I just forgot to bring it back in here. It was turning, turning. Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. You know, I'm turning oh, Japanese. The name of the company, turning so. pharmaceuticals. Uh, Ketamine for depression. Uh, Oxycontin. And. Vika Mill. I don't know. Uh, no clue, Maynard. You have managed to Di- confuse Di- me Di- once again. D A R A Prim. Dar Prim. Okay. I have heard so of that. That was a drug. So, what is Dar Prim for? Uh, Dar Prim, prescription medication, treatment of uh, toxoplasm when used with somatophytes. What, what the, what's it for? Oh, for malaria. And, <gasps> yeah, yeah, the malaria. Okay, there you go. So yeah, whatever. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. So what happened to him? Well, he got out of jail now. Okay. Yeah. Nobody, no, nobody like done him in in jail. Nope. Well, think about it. He's a drug dealer in jail, probably. Oh, crimey! I didn't even think about that. That's because I don't think about drug dealers. I wonder oh, why. Yeah. Who knows what I'm in the entertainment field and I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. What the hell is wrong with me? Everything. You don't listen either. Why don't you put that in there? You know what the worst part is? All I do is watch TV shows that are low budget. Oh, yeah. What's well, the TV shows? Do you want to jump to that? Or do we have enough time? Yeah, we got 10 minutes. Let's do that. So let's do what TV shows have a budget. So they do this all the time, right? Yes. They do this, uh, they speculate. Uh, I have a few things in here that were speculated. I was going to do them all together, but we won't. We'll do them later. They speculated what restaurant brands are going to be open, what car dealers are going to be open or closed. And, you know, we've got a few of those in there. We'll come back to those later, but let's do the, I have got. So renewed or canceled show status of every show for 2021. So this was an old one and I found it for 21, right? Right. These are shows that were going to get canceled for 21. And how many of them came back, right? So, like, Hell's Kitchen came back. They, they had money for that. Doctor Who. Believe it or not, Doctor Who is still going. So, let's see how accurate these things are, right? So, the top two, they did pretty good. American Ninja Warrior got renewed, right? Walking Dead canceled. That's official. That was right. They got right. that right. Dancing with the Stars got renewed. But it didn't get renewed on ABC. It's on a different channel. I it forgot is. what channel it's on. It's right. It's not on. It's not on regular TV. Shark Tank got renewed. Westworld got renewed. I don't remember seeing Westworld being renewed though. I don't know. It, it's on one of the, the other channels. Right. Conan's canceled again. So Conan's out of work again. And that was accurate. That was right. Conan O'Brien, remember? Yep. That, that show. That was correct. America's Got Talent got renewed. The Mandalorian got renewed. How did the Mandalorian get renewed, though? Because uh, did they really do a season two of Mandalorian? Because they're just doing all these different verticals, right? From what I understand, it's coming out in the fall. Oh, so it is coming out. Susie is like gaga over it, too. So, Well, the Mandalorian is good. Did she watch the last few episodes of uh, Boba Fett? Yes. Because it became the Mandalorian. Yes. Which was cool. Although that girl said something wrong, and she's off the show. Kara, whatever her name is. Yeah, right. Yeah. Supernatural got canceled. Yep, that was accurate. NCIS got renewed. I can't believe that show's still going. That's yeah, without Mark seasons. Harmon. Yeah, 18 seasons. They still talk about him on the show, but yeah. I, I know renewed. people that refuse to watch the show because he's not on it anymore. It's like, you know, Gary's doing a really good job, and the show is still very nice to watch. Yep. I like Mark Harmon. Don't get me wrong, but for kind of odd, he deserves a break. I I would have to look for this show. It got canceled, but it had three seasons called Dead to Me. It was a Netflix. Christina Applegate won. Okay. Um, yeah, Dead to Me. I don't. I don't know. 
I don't know that canceled. one. Well, it's got three seasons. I'll go take a look at that. Um, Supergirl got canceled. That was a bummer. For like the third time, right? Yeah. Shameless canceled, finally. Well, they stopped. Like, they, they had no edge anymore. Let's see what else. Keeping up with the Gadassians got canceled. I was I was very Yay. happy about that. But they did get a show on another uh, network or some kind. They're doing something. But yeah, they're unfortunately they're still there. Um, Bridgerton came out with season two. And so yeah, no, nobody likes season two. It's kind of stupid. They said Superstore renewed for the final season, which was accurate. That was its final season. So, like, a lot of this stuff is, I guess, I don't know. It, it's one of those things. It, Susie and I both have been upset when certain shows have been discontinued because we really what like What are some them. of your shows that you like now? Well, okay. We watch all the NCISs that are still on. Um, right. All of them. Yep. Yes. We watch, um, it's not Hawaii Fire. Well, Hawaii is NCIS. That's right. Um, okay. Magnum PI. Okay. Um, Young Sheldon. That's still going. Yes. Um, the Equalizer. Okay. And I, don't, then, I don't, you know, it's not as good as the movies. Well, I didn't think it is. Yeah, it's a TV show. I like Queen Lucifer. She does. I, I've always liked. Well, she does a good things. job, but I just yeah. I don't like the show. Yeah, they're getting kind of edgy right now, and it's a little weird. But uh, then, of course, we like Picard. We like uh, Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, um, you gotta watch. let me know when you see my buddy Adam on it. Yes. So we I watch all watch, that stuff. Yeah, I can watch that episode. But we had to actually buy streaming services in order to do that, which, yep. as you know, really irritated. Well, yeah, you, you, you know, you cancel your cable, but then you got to buy 18 different streaming services. Right. And you can't really cancel your cable. I mean, you can. Uh, yeah, I did. There's all the shows that Susie wants to watch are on cable. Are they on cable or are they on regular TV? Well, I don't know. It's like HG. Because no. they're on regular TV, you know, regular TV is still out there. Yes. Yeah, you just, just got to get uh, a digital antenna. antenna. Right. It's still free. People, feel, But there are people who will sell you. That's my favorite thing. They'll sell you um, an antenna. Oh, you can get all these channels for free. Just buy our antenna for five hundred dollars. We'll install it for you. It, it's it's regular free and TV. Just hook it up. And most TVs now uh, accept the digital channel. That is correct. So yeah, so I just thought this was weird that you know some of the shows were were accurate, some of the shows weren't accurate. But you know, looking back from a year ago to see what was there. You know, getting budgets, you know, and then some of the money it takes, like Emily in Paris got renewed for season two. And we saw season two, 1.5 million per episode. I didn't think season one, I don't remember, I don't remember what season was, it was good. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, that was, that's a weird show. That, that costs, that costs a million per episode. Oh, that was I mean, the other one, Ghost. We like Ghost a lot. Oh, and Ghost came renewed. back. Yes. So I'm glad Ghost came back. Yep. It was, it's actually a very, very well written show. It's a funny show. I like that. Yep. I like the dead people. I see dead people. <laughs> the dead people are, well, they're all good. But one of the things Susie really likes is, is uh, the, the, the gay guy, um, the British soldier. No, he's, he's the American soldier. The, the, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Because he's in love with the British. With the British soldier. That's, right. and that's how he shot him. We yes. find out early in the right, right. first season. She, she says, he's so he was, good. He was looking at him through that. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen him in other stuff. Yeah. But okay. So yeah, Titans was renewed at 90 million per season. 90 million per season. That's, a, you know, I love South Park. South Park is killing it. South Park production costs are only 300,000 per episode. Think of the money that those guys are making. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did you know the voice costs two point three million dollars per episode? Yeah, that's crazy. We won't go there. All right, I'm going to have to say it. We need to get to the word of the week. All right, what is the word of the week? Well, believe it or not, it's an arcane word. Uh, what does that? It's mean? It's arcane. What does that mean? 
Well, it means that it's understood by very few people. It's very mysterious or a secret. You know, it's kind of like our show, very mysterious and very few people understand this. Wasn't Arcane a villain? There is a movie Arcane. called Arcane. Oh, so yeah, our TV show, not a movie. Is it a TV show? Well, I believe it was. Um, God, what was it called? Uh, well, it's called Arcane. It hey, was. Watch Arcane on Netflix. On Netflix, yep. Amid the stark discord of Twin Cities, uh, Piltover and Zon, two sisters, fight on rival sides of a war between magic technologies. Oh, it was a, it was a uh, animation. Yes. Most uh, like Dungeons and Dragons players or, or fantasy lovers, arcane stuff is the old magical stuff. Why, would you, why would you name your carpet cleaner company Arcane? Because they mysteriously get stains out. Okay. Will there be a season two of Arcane? Shortly after the animation on Netflix in 21, the streamer made the announcement production of season two it had officially begun. Uh, Arcane season two is not coming to Netflix March 2022. So apparently, apparently Arcane will be uh, mysteriously disappearing. There you go. Kind of a secret. Mm. Arcane season two, what we know so far, PC gamer. Um, oh, I didn't know that again. Oh, all of the details about League of Legends upcoming. And so this is League of Legends. This is this is not a game you play, but. You've heard of it. I have. Hmm. Unfortunately, all of us here too, it won't hit Netflix. Otherwise, we don't have a hint of release date. But spring of 2023 seems like the earliest possible window. So okay. they're keeping it a secret. They named it appropriately. Yes, it's an arcane arcane. Arcane centers the origin story of two League of Legends most iconic characters. Oh. So it's stories from that. So I guess the kids would rather play the game than watch stories about them, Certainly. which makes sense. Yeah. So we just bookended our show starting about talking about game and ending talking about game. We belong we on game. Twitch. We belong on Twitch. We do. Will enemies still be the intro song for season two? By Imagine Dragons. Oh, hmm. okay. Very interesting. So what else you want to talk about then? That's it. We need to go. Well, then I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision. Decision. I had trouble saying that today. Yeah, I I can't wait for you to to speak slowly when you do your last part so you get it right. Please subscribe, like, watch other shows and channels. Go down there. Go to whatever.world. One of these days, I'll fix that. I've got to deal with... uh, Google being the pain in the butt right now, too, um, because they're changing our free stuff to pay stuff. They suck. But other than that, I want to uh, thank you for watching and uh, live. No. Yeah. Might as well. It's it's over for us. Dying is just overrated. It's it's over for us. We're we're all under control. Uh, At this point, I think we're just a video. I'm I'm with the Elon Musk. Uh, We're just video characters in uh, some game that some alien kids playing. So you might as well live every day and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life and have a good one. Good job. Uh, 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 uh,